Hey there, thank you for joining me, welcome to the channel. We are in spring of year 4, and I've already made the adjustments for the production. One of the other pregnant women gave birth, so we missed a barn worker. I've assigned one of the three hunters to the barn for now. As far as I can tell, we're going to harvest the rye this season, but not the wheat just yet. So we can see it looks really nice with these little fences around it, and we have the, the trees in full bloom again. So that's going to give us some more fruit next season in the summer. And yeah, I like the way this looks. looks really nice. I also noticed when paying a visit to our chicken, to our hen house, chicken coop, that we have more chickens. Uh, I bought two extra. But if we look at the overview here, uh, chickens. We have seven chickens now. These two were born this season. It's a male and a female. And the piggies, unfortunately, we were not lucky enough because the piglet is not mature yet, so that would be kind of strange if that would happen. All right, I bought some fertilizer and manure at Edwin's. I sold a whole bunch of stuff again. Also bought some poppy seed because I didn't have that yet, and it's going to be planted in spring, just in time, I guess. Next up, we're going to make a little trip, and we're going to try to locate a bear. They're usually close to the, the mines, Cannot build a mine yet, but we can still mine the resources and uh, take them home. But we also need to kill a bear for that uh, chapter quest, and that will allow us then to build up to 50 structures. I don't want to be risking losing my donkey to a bear. I'm not sure if the bear will attack it. There's a bear. There we go. My god. Oh, there's the other bear. Okay, I'm going to leave my donkey there. I'm going to try to do some mining. We find some salt here as well, which might be interesting, of course. All right, let's leave it at that. I got uh, plenty of copper because of all the excitement. I missed a date with my wife. We have to set a date for another day. We have to take a rain check. So we already spoke to her. So we're going to have another date, or try to have another date, tonight. Yes. So I built two more stone houses. So I'm on my way to Gostovia to see if we can recruit some more people. Otherwise I'll have to make a journey across the towns and the villages again. But yes, going forward, I will be doing a lot of rebuilding and upgrading. Because we also unlocked the food storage level 2 so and I, I kind of cut that out because I don't want to bore you to death a male sitting here with some good numbers so especially for excavating so let's uh, get that guy recruited I'm thinking about building another excavation shed because there is no excavation shed level 2 in the game there's a woodshed level 2 in the game that uh, is going to unlock, if I'm not mistaken, pretty close. But yeah, it's still uh, quite a ways away. So the excavation shed, is there's no upgrade for it. So I might put another one down until I can build a mine. And that is going to take quite a while. And while we're here, we have that quest for 
the knuckle sandwich for Unigost. Something tells me it's going to lead to a lot of talking again. Where's he at? Is that him there? Okay. Let's talk. Hello! I've talked with Sambo. He's a real sweetheart, isn't he? Uh, the sweetest. That's Sambo for you. Okay, so he... I will slowly cl click through this in case you want to read it. So we have to give him a knuckle sandwich. Of course. He doesn't want us to hit him. Great. Here's the storyline again. I mean, it's part of the game, it's just that it takes forever to read this. Okay. We're still going on with the story. Okay, so we have to go to Barovo and get a site back. Consider it done. Okay, okay. So in case we ever build a goose uh, shed, then this is where you can buy the goose. How much are they actually? 700 for the little ones. Okay, that's not too much. How much are the cows? Whoa. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot more. Okay, I believe we have to speak to this lady for the quest for Unagost. Hello, Ida. I'm here for Unigos sight. Take a hike, kid. I want it fair and square. Uh, you only wanted me to get a sight back. Okay, then. It's my sight now. Blah, blah, blah. What can I do to get your sight, then? Oh, she wants to play a game. Great. The game of riddles. She will tell us three riddles, and we have to answer them correctly. And if we answer them correctly, we win and we get the sight. And if we lose, we're basically screwed. Okay, uh, let's do the riddles. And I'm not going to lie to you; I've done this before. First one will disappear the second you say its name. Silence. Oh, we get a reputation for every correct answer. That is great. Okay, the next one. Feed me and I live, yet give me a drink and I die. What am I? That's a fire. I can fly, but I have no wings. I can cry, but I have no eyes. Okay, that's a cloud. Okay. Well, that was a fun game. A lot of rap, and we got that side back. Uh, well, we don't have to buy chickens here, so that is all taken care of, because we have plenty of chickens, but, whoa, whoa. There might be a whole bunch of people to re that we can recruit here. Uh, uh, that's not, not good numbers. This one is pretty decent here. Kanuta. Okay. A whole bunch of twos, but that is fine. We can, we can always upgrade that. Let's talk to her, and let's see what she wants to do. Small talk. Yeah, she's talking about her high skill in diplomacy. That doesn't really help us. Field work makes me insane. Okay, so she cannot be assigned to the farm. Okay, okay. Alright. So, as soon as I build the excavation shed, I will uh, put her in there. Put her to work. Hey, Unigast. 
Whoa. You were starting to juke me there. Hey, Unicus, I've got your sight. No, there were no troubles at all. Sambra's looking for me. Great. He, he was asking about the funny eyes and the stupid face. Yeah, that must be me. Okay, then. We'll do that another time, because we have a date with the wife. And we don't want to miss that again. Oh, I'm too early. Okay, well, great. Let me find some roses and rose petals and prepare for this. This date. Hi, honey. We have a date at 7 o'clock, remember? Well, I'm going to sit too then, okay? There we go. So. Oh, too bad you can't talk when sitting on the bench. That would actually be uh, kind of cool. Okay, I thought we had a date. Okay, let's do it. Make me the happiest woman on earth. Oh, 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 whoa, okay. Well, they uh, they banned, blacked that all out. But apparently it was a really great night. Alright guys, we have arrived in summer. And they're already hard at work. Because summer is very likely the busiest season for us. Especially since a lot of the farm fields are going to be harvested. Let me show you. So the ladies are already at work. So looking at field one, it's going to harvest that side of it. That's the wheat that's going to be harvested. And field two, these are all the veggies. So most of them are done. And I think the cabbage is going to be replanted. I don't think anything else can be planted or sown in summer besides cabbage. So that is going to be replanted in those uh, squares here. Uh, field three. The flax is going to be harvested, which is really great, because that will allow us to make some more linen thread and get the, the seamster going, because the seamster is currently out of work, because we don't have any linen thread. So build another excavation shed, because we have one citizen, or villager, who's really not happy in the barn, and we're going to assign him to the excavation shed. There we go. Now, of course, we shouldn't forget to actually set up a schedule for that excavation shed. Yeah, so that is going to really help me because I really want to, as I mentioned, I really want to redesign the, the town a little bit and get a grid going, make it a little bit prettier and get a little bit of organization going as well here. Okay, let's check the wife to see if she has another quest for us. She does. Let's first ask how she's doing. Oh, she thinks something's wrong. Okay. Oh boy, it's about the baby. Well, what can I do? Get some help. The closest herbalist you can find. Well, we have one in the village. And husband? Yes. Don't take too long. And, well, that sounds really creepy. Let's see what the quest uh, description says. Okay, we'll find an herbalist. That, that shouldn't be too far. They want us to find a specific one. Alright, we have arrived at the herbalist. I need your help. My wife is pregnant and she needs medical attention. What seems to be the problem? She feels strange, unsettled. Is it the first child? Yes. She'll be fine. Just give her some juice or something. I don't think you understood me. <laughs> You're going to pack whatever potions and medicine you have and gladly follow me back to my wife to attend to her needs. Got it. Splendid. Uh, okay. We need three daisies. Daisies, daisies, daisies. We need three of them. Brilliant. Deliver to Ludgada, St. John's Word and Daisy. We need 21 of those. Okay, I think I have those. It is a season for St. John's Word, so I can always pick it. Ah, okay. Actually, have it. Okay, let's talk. Husband, and what seems to be the problem? It seems that it was in just indigestion. I feel stupid, to be honest. No, you shouldn't. Not one bit. 
I don't like to be a burden. You're not. You're doing things I would never be able to do. And all of that for our family. Nothing makes me happier than assisting you with them. Oh, Lord. I had to be strong all my life. It's, it's nice being able to take a break sometimes. You made it possible. Thank you. I'm here for you. The same way you're here for me. Now take some rest. Oh, my God. We have arrived in Danica. So let's have a look and see where Fanana is. Let me park my donkey here. Banana. Is that her? Okay, yeah. My time is valuable. What do you want? Who did you expect? The queen? So she's a child. Okay. She's very friendly. Get out of my face, maggot. Forgive me. That's not how I wanted to start a conversation. But that's exactly how I wanted to end it. Please, I'm coming out on behalf of Sambor. But, no. These figurines are crap. I won't make a profit out of them. Okay. I know they're pretty crude, but isn't that their whole appeal? Are you drunk or just stupid? I'm, well, I'm not drunk. <laughs> I don't want your scrappy toys. You can't even make, another, uh, make other animals. Just a bloody deer. Get out. Okay. So we're basically going to try to convince her that she has to be a better salesman or something. Nothing. If you're not able to sell them, it's no problem. Of course I am. Blah, blah, blah. If you say so. Okay. So she's very friendly. Let's make a deal. If you get me a special item that I have a buyer for, then I'll buy Sambo's sleazy carvings. Let's see what she needs. A unique potion. The elixir of cosmic might. Norbert and Veronica. Okay, so we have to go back to that herbalist, actually. Great. So I was checking out this vendor here, Matilda in Danica, and I noticed that she had a rag doll, which it says that it's a type of toy can be given to a small child. I might pick that up. We're back at Norbert. Let's see what he has in store for us. Hello, I'm here for the Elixir of Cosmic Might. You want what now? The potion. Fanana told me that you two spoke about it. So it's actually a potency medicine. Let's call it the liquid cane for your manhood. Oh, uh, I see. What do you need it for? Okay. The recipe is quite simple. I need ten dandelions, five daisies, three thistles, and one piece of a secret ingredient. The herbs you can gather yourself or buy some from me. And the secret ingredient? It's just my fancy way of saying I'll be needing some manure. Try to get a fresh piece, something of high quality preferably. Oh, I never buy third-rate manure. I'm not a monster. Okay. <laughs> um... Well, we can actually buy it from him. Hello. So let's see how much we need. Goodbye. Ten, five, three. How are you? Only the best products here. Ten, five. Saves me a trip home. Three. And now we need manure. Well, fresh manure, I would say... Okay, this qualifies, okay. Hey, Norbert. Yeah, the ingredients. Splendid! Let me begin the brewing. Blah, 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 blah. Terrific, thank you so much for your help. Just remind the client to drink it three times a day and he should be golden. I will, take care. So what is that girl going to do with this potion? Oh, she's still there. Okay. That helps. Here's your potion of cosmic bullcrap. Nobot said to drink it three times a day. Got it. Oh. 
Great. Okay, so we have to come back tomorrow. Okay, so it's a little bit after midnight. Let's see if that is enough. The potion didn't work at all. Okay, so she's not happy. Okay, so we have to speak to that client who apparently didn't think the potion was working at all. <laughs> it's Bogdan from Branica, Mr. Limp. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Wow. We have found Bogdan. Hello, are you Bogdan? Maybe. What do you want? Well, I've heard that you're all dissatisfied with the potion you've been given. <laughs> I can assure you that I'm taking this matter extremely seriously. Boy, I'll kick your ass. Okay, so we're making sure that he actually took it three times a day. Did you say drink? That's right. Huh. Let's see what she has to say now. It was all just a misunderstanding. Here's the payment for the potion. She was about to leave. Where are you going? I'm leaving the valley. I've outgrown this silly little place. There's some serious business to conduct elsewhere. What about our deal? I remember I'll buy all of the stupid figurines you've got. Great. For one coin apiece. Well. That didn't turn out too well. I don't know what's going to happen now. Okay, so we've met with Fanana. How did that go? Well, she's the worst. Pure evil in her human skin. Continue. Okay, so she left the valley. We basically give him a little update. Uh, I'll just say that she bought them. What? She did? Heck yeah, all of them. Uh, how much did I earn? Oh, boy. Uh, if I say 1,000 coins, we'll lose 1,000 coins on this guy. What is he going to give us? Is he going to give us more rep for that? Which I I don't care much for. I will get the rep somewhere else. Because 1,000 coins, that is, that is quite a lot of money. I'll just say 20. So we lose 20 coin. <laughs> Sorry, Samba. Uh, he's all, uh... Okay. So I wonder if there's something else that you could got. Because he would have had basically more confident about his carving skills. Who knows. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave it here. So, I think it was a very interesting quest line. I, I don't know what would have happened if we would have paid him a thousand coin. If he would be able to carve more difficult or intricate designs, maybe? I don't know. I just think it's a lot of money. Just to give... Uh, Maybe we would have gotten a little bit more Dynasty rap, which I will get it elsewhere, either way. But, either way, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys will be there next time. Bye-bye.